Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. Daily vlogs. If you like this video, come back tomorrow. You can't tell, but Eve is not feeling too good today. Mm -mm. Well, she's got energy, but her her behind's hurting her, and we just want right. to stay home and make sure if she gets sick or is uncomfortable that we're here to help her. Right. She got sick earlier, and she seems to be fine now. But when we left, we could hear her barking. And she never and does that. And um, she's just been uncomfortable all day. So we just wanna... She can't even, she's having trouble sitting in her normal way. Right. You can tell so she's trying to stay away from her back end. We actually left to go out and we get in the car and we're like, we can't leave her. Yeah. So we came back. So? That's why she's like extra amped. <laughs> Welcome to another home vloggy. Let's see. She just like sits. Her, her and ears she... and then she puts her ears back. That's mm -hmm. not her. Here we go. We got some donations going out tonight. Coffee canister, books, books, little table, going to donation. Some Harry Potter books. They're just like super worn down. I am keeping the Philosopher's Stone. Yes, the first book as like historical monument to um, our lives but we just got new books yes from peter's mouth so it'll be okay you want to should we show them the great progress over there sure look at this so that's where the table was we're keeping most of the stuff that was on it but just going to put it in storage for right now and we'll pack it away because they're going to go to a new place because we're going to redo the design of our our aesthetic at our new apartment so that's going to be gone this center section, if you never notice, it's three sections, two baskets in a center section. The center section was full of books. We've organized those two ends because that's where they're going to stay during storage. But that center section is empty from the other day. Our little entertainment console here, where all of our DVDs were living, those are empty because they're over there in those bins. We're just we just got to find a box for the records. And the record player. And over here is those books and DVDs. Got rid of two years worth of magazines that were in that basket. <laughs> I'm gonna use this here laptop because I'm gonna adjust our U-Haul and I'm gonna look into a storage unit because I think there's some good deals about getting a storage unit for the month. You just have to find the couch. Sniffing it out. Eve's like, uh, this stuff is not supposed to be up here. I repeat, not supposed to be up here. Peter just called us ridiculous <laughs> because of how prepared we are to move. And like how little we have. So I don't know if we told you, but the remember all those downsizing vlogs. <laughs> yes, those are paying off. And the boys are taking our our couch because we're gonna get a big new comfy one. But out of the living rooms, almost like the living rooms just it's basically just done. Like we just need to put it in storage and give the boys and the like garage, the, the the couch. Yeah. So here's Sarah's workstation, our our nice desk. Sarah recently went through these sides, and that can all fit in one bin. We just need to get it. These three. Are over here are basically packed. The bottom one's full of our camera stuff. The top one's basically empty. The middle one, Sarah's going to go through its art supplies. I got some ideas, but Sarah and I just decided we're not taking any of those buttons down there with us mm -hmm. to the new apartment. Yeah. Also, somebody told me to get one of these morning, noon, night. So this so thank is. Thank you for that idea. This is everything here. Like that's pretty much ready. I mean, there's still some stuff on here that we probably could, like those books could probably go. We could probably pack this up soon. In like one bin, like after right. I come back from Kentucky. Right. We have to send this off. Yes. We have a couple of other button packs that are just sent off. Let's show yeah. them more. What? Let's show them more. What else is there to show? Well, we showed you the closet last week. That's donation. Actually, we showed them, and the room's the room's pretty much ready. Yeah. We should have to pack oh, it up. Oh, the laundry room. Oh, check this out. That's what is left in our laundry room, and all of that's either, I'd say, eighty percent of that's going in the garbage. Yeah. The or, candles and are then keeping. We have, like, our food and our um, reusable bags, and that's it. So I also I res I changed our reservation for our U-Haul down to a ten foot. So we're getting no. I did a fifteen foot because. Ooh, you okay? Yeah. Sarah said her funny bone. We were going to do the 10 foot, but we're doing the 15 foot because the 10 foot doesn't have the easy load ramp and our furniture in our bedroom is pretty big and heavy. So we want that ramp. Look at who I got. Neighbors. So we got a 15 foot U-Haul ready for pickup. Oh, she want to be and actually we're going to get a storage unit because we get one month free. So rather than keeping our stuff at the Bugs Garage or, or Katie's or anywhere, we're just going to leave it all at the U-Haul. So we're going to get the U-Haul, pack it up, put it in a storage unit all in one day. 
and bring our basically our essentials like our clothes yeah. our computer we have some stuff in Matt and ben's closet like extra like sheets and towels and stuff I feel like most of that's gonna go garbage or donation because i feel like we've yeah. barely used them in the past year so if right. we barely used in the past year get out of here all right i'm going to just scratch that itch one last time tonight and we're gonna put all this away too There you go, they're all in there. They're all gone. These three right here are Matt's and Ben's. So they have to pack that up themselves. But besides that, after two years, the fridge is empty. Show my progress. Oh, dusting and organizing and cleaning up this desk here. Yeah. So I just recently did a lot of this, but I didn't tackle these. I might do that while you're on your own. I also have a July recap to edit. <laughs> Remember you said you were going to do potentially yeah, July do recap while, while I'm gone. Yeah, I'm going to do that while gone. It'd be awesome if you got it. I just really two. wanted the July recap to end with a positive pregnancy test, so I feel like I'm avoiding Neglecting it. it? Yeah. Well, I would be super happy if you did that art supplies. Yeah. But yeah. I, mean, I, hope you get, I, I hope you get rid of all of them. I'm not giving away these. There she is, hard at work with her companion dog next to her side, keeping her company. I officially booked our storage unit. There was, got that settled and we switched it around. Now the last Friday of the month, we're gonna get our storage unit. Saturday morning, we're gonna get our U-Haul van truck. Do you want these? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then Saturday morning, we'll get our truck, load it up and dump it all into the storage unit, all in one day. Very all exciting. One day? All in one day. Just the car and the Everything? Yeah, the car and everything. Well, we have the car reserved for 24 hours, but we can get it all done in one day. I want to time it. I want to get the car at 10 a.m. Uh -huh. and see how long it takes us to load up all of our stuff and empty it. We should get rid of this, right? Yes. Sarah's doing a great job. But I got to go run four miles. I feel like I haven't run it forever because it's only been two days. Mm -hmm. But it was like Saturday early, and now it's Tuesday late. So there was a lot of time there, but I'm ready. Feeling good. Okay, this is all I'm keeping. Just some basics. We bought this embosser for our wedding save the dates. No, it's glitter. Not getting rid of that. Glue gun, glue, tape. You never know when you need a good pliers. Um, and these are fairly new and not worn out. And then this is just for any kids that come over or, you know, I enjoy a good coloring book. Alrighty, so I finally got into comfy clothes. I finished up the desk, which feels really good. Um, I started making like a wish list for everything I know that we'll want for the new place, not to get right away, but just to like have a list of things that I consciously want to make an effort to either save for or buy. See Eve, she's waiting at the door for Peter all the way against the wall. So yeah, I just have been like finishing up the wish list. I'm gonna keep adding to it. Um, and I feel really good before Peter heads off for his weekend away. I feel like time is just gonna fly by after that for sure. Um, especially since I'll be traveling to Chicago the first week of October. So really it's like, move, Peter goes, we move, we move again. We have Dom and Victoria's wedding, then Chicago for my sister's wedding shower, which I designed. The shower invites today, as well as made serious updates to her wedding invitations. It is all feeling super, super real, and it would be great if we could get our IVF schedule underway so then we can have peace of mind just of the timing of everything, but we still just have plenty of time and I've been feeling really confident about it and really good about this time that we've had to just be on a break. Um, I'm just listening to my body, really. So that's where my head's at. I'm going to watch some new girl. Um, hopefully Eve is feeling somewhat better. You can tell she's not as like irritable. But um, just wait for Peter to get back, I think. I'm going to drive him to work in the morning. Sorry, Evie just wanted to come up on the couch. Um, so I think I'm going to drive Peter to work tomorrow, so 
right from work we can go straight for a quick trip to Magic Kingdom. We really do have to go to bed early tomorrow with a super early flight, so I'm just gonna relax until he gets home. There you go, four miles down. See, but now that says 404, whatever. We did it, we got it in. Feels good. It's gonna be interesting how I play the next two days worth of training schedule because I got it really early Thursday for my flight. I'm supposed to run four miles on Thursday. I'm supposed to run nine miles tomorrow. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that in the morning. It's a recipe for disaster. Or I could run it after work. It's also a recipe for disaster because I don't have that much time. I have to come home from work, get ready, and probably go to bed because I gotta get up. One in the morning, two in the morning? I'll figure it out. But let me get this all cleaned up because it's very sweaty and then head back home. Peter just got back, so I'm gonna do the daily message real quick. Stay hungry, stay foolish, Steve Jobs. We're having a snack. Some almonds and cranberries. I wanted to get a huge, 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 huge happy birthday to our Karen. good friend Karen. We cannot wait for you to be down here. Last mm. year we got to spend your birthday with you. Mm -hmm. We're excited because now this year we get to spend for Kaylee's birthday. He but. says happy birthday too. <laughs> happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kieran. We can't wait to hang out with you and your siblings and your parents. Hope very soon, right? Mm -hmm. Well, sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm. So I hope you had a great day. It looked like you had a great day. And we love you. Yeah, we love you. Ready? Ready for bed. We have to go to the parks tomorrow, this time for real, because I leave. And so I need a little yeah. bit of magic. As before long I go. as Eve's. Yes. 100%. She's not 100% yet. But she's got all day tomorrow. Yeah. We'll figure it out. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.